Good morning, YouTube family. Today is the day we install our, at least the bracket that supports the Jeep kitchen. And the instructions are really clear. They stay, we have to lift this up, which I've already started, and to remove the uh, T45 Torx um, out of the unit, out of the Jeep, we have to do all corners. So this corner, that far corner, and then of course on the other side of the Jeep. So we're going to get that done. So when you open the kit, let's just give it a little, we're going to dump everything out. Set that aside. So we have, we're just going to line these all up, that way we know what we're working with, all the pieces. So we, these are the spacers right here. And then we have three plugs. So we have carriage bolts, a big long one, just gotta figure out where that one goes. A few small ones. We have our spacers, we have our plugs, and we have our lock washers. So let's figure out where that goes. So we have to put these spacers in, these little plastic things. So one goes there, and one goes on this side. And then we just have to get the bolt pattern in place. I give these. They're an inch and a quarter. I think that's gonna fit in there. So our next step is to take this unit here and install it to the back end. So we have our spacers and then we have our carriage bolts which we'll use to attach those. So when doing this, you don't want to tighten anything down. there. Tighten it down when everything is in its original space. There. Now at the end, that is solid. That's all it in its space. And now, I think we can hook up the kitchen. One thing you got in place are these, these plugs they've given you. And that plugs the holes, and there you go. She is nice and clean, and she is solid. So that was uneventful. It was an easy task. So now we're going to open up the kitchen and see what it looks like and see how much work is involved to uh, install that. Okay, so we're going to reveal or do an unveiling here of our um, more ride kitchen for the Jeep. So it's nicely packed and of course we got Ozzy in the way and it has to be part of it. This thing is heavy. I'm just going to FYI.
So this is it out of the box. It weighs a ton. Sorry, Tail will have to help me. So this will be the unit where the fridge and freezer sits on. And uh, we're gonna carry this out to the, to the Jeep. And uh, they give some clear instructions. Instructions here with all of the bolts and fasteners that you need to attach it to the, uh, to the uh, trail kitchen bracket that we just screwed in place. So let's take this outside and see if we can get it installed. Yours, you got the back end. Oh. Here, here on that. Holy smokes, that weighs a ton. Okay. So. We have her in place, and all we have to do is figure out how to bolt her in. So next step, we have that anchored in. So we have to put <clears throat> the bolt pattern, line these holes here, to the bolt pattern of the bracket. So I have three carriage bolts that have to be attached there. So we'll get those in right now. I have one already started, but again, you just put them in their place, and you don't screw them in tight until everything is ready. The last thing you want to do is strip anything. I just don't want to always go right in nice and neatly. There. Alright, so those are all in. So here we have the finished product. So to open it, release that one, pulls out, and then you can release this one. And we have a few more things to add on to it because we do have the drawer. I'll be opening up here and the extra spacer on the side. So we'll get working on that in a few minutes. So, but in essence, we're ready for the fridge once it gets, uh, once it comes in. So we're installing the sink and they come with two of these arms. And excuse the light because I ran out of daylight. So these arms go right into this opening. You see this one will go in there too. And you have to use these little sleeves and the sleeves Here's the sleeve. The sleeves go right in here, and there are your glass. So, we're going to install the other side. Good morning, YouTubers. Today we are finishing our install of our More Ride kitchen. And what we have to do today is install the framing that goes around the fridge and freezer. So with that being said, they give you a solid side that will go on the driver's side of the Jeep. Then you have the graded area. And just for those that have never installed one of these, they come with the pre-drilled holes that go into these rivets. And then you'll be screwing four, four drop points here for screws. And they're just little small screws that are provided. And uh, then you have the top. So we're gonna finish that today. And that should be the end of our, our kitchen. Other than, of course, I have to install the faucet and the pump. So let's put these out here. And remember, do not tighten anything down until everything is in its place. I don't 
don't think a ratchet's going to work. I don't think we can get the ratchet. So this side is now installed. And uh, so I just got to duplicate the, the same actions on the other side. And that'll be a little tighter because there's just no, no space to work. So what an experience that was, trying to get these little screws and nuts in a very tight spot. But there she is. Now, again, no instructions. So my assumption, this piece here will be going way back here and it'll be used as a stopper for, uh, for the fridge. So let's get that one installed. So we'll tighten that in place. And then one more. So you managed to get the top on, it's pretty solid. Just remember, when putting it on, it has to go inside, inside. So you can see there's a, the little lip is right here. And uh, we just have to screw that down. There's uh, four screws on either side. And that'll make it a pretty solid unit once we, uh, we tighten everything up. All right, everything is attached. And you should be able to pull this right out. That comes out. That comes out. And then there's your frame. And then you can use this side here for roto packs. Um, we're probably going to use it for water. Or I may end up putting a, a water, um, very thin water pail there that. Uh, we can then use the motor. I'm gonna probably put the motor back here or maybe on the side. We'll play that by ear. But that's, that's it. She is done. So when you're measuring for a fridge, make sure you do the inner dimensions. So we're looking at 25 and a half by, excuse me, I'm trying to do this one hand, 15 and three quarters. So one thing I failed to notice is that you can increase the height of the top by utilizing these three screws or four screws there. So I'm probably gonna end up using this bottom one. So I'm gonna probably have to take this out and raise it. So I'm looking at a freezer roughly about 15 wide, 25 inches long and 20 inches high. So we'll Get hunting for that and see what we, we got. finished installing the more ride kitchen and there's a part i didn't video because we just ran out of daylight so i do want to share that with you um some of the things you should make you should be aware of prior to screwing anything in place so we have the sink that we installed so under here you notice here's the sink And you have this shelf here. So there's got the sliding rails, which we talked about one evening. And then you have the shelf. So when installing this shelf for the sink, you have to make sure the hinge is screwed inside. If not, it won't sit flat in this compartment. And then of course, if you did order the extra shelf, the extra shelf would go into these two little holes here and just slide in and you'd have a nice flat surface all around the unit. So we may order that later on. I thought originally it came with the kit, but it did not. When we looked at our order, we noticed that uh, it was an extra and it's around $100. But that is the complete setup. The only thing we have to now install would be the uh, faucet and then there is a pump with hose that will be going along 
the back end of the more ride kitchen. I'll we'll save that for another day. But the unit itself looks absolutely amazing and I'm very impressed with it. And I'm glad I made this purchase. So thank you for watching the install of the more ride kitchen. Other than that, that is the first part of our overland conversion.